So, what's this thing's deal? This is honestly just really, really cool to look at. Oh man, it's kind of making me want to play KSP right now. Uh, but that's true anytime I look at anything space related. Yes, hello. Yes, me? Worry who? See the sea. There you are. It was you. Hello? Hello. Great about us today. Long roads and no hardly. You are bygone? Uh. Sure. Why are you locked up in here? Ah, uh, casual turning. Back in front. And <laughs> Gerbil took the top head. Not being pressed for that. Lady going and loosing back for I? Sorry, I... I think I'm misunderstanding you. What do you want? The head. The head for tales. For reading news, jars, words, and tumble. The reading head. Okay. Okay. Take it easy. I'll... Uh... I'll take a look. So, maybe it wants something to read. Or a jar. Let's just see what we can find. It seems to understand us. Uh... This could be what it wants. Toilet paper? Let's give it a shot. I mean, I suppose it fits... I suppose it's sort of halfway between a jar and reading material. No, no, jars. A head. Scotch and peppers? Head. Okay, that wasn't right. Let's try something else. I wonder what the search area is limited to. Does it include upstairs? Oh, there's all kinds of objects. Uh... Something to eat, maybe? And we'll remember that there's a basketball over there. Head. A. S. B. E. Head. Nope. Let's keep trying. B. A. S. K. E. T. B. A. L. L. Maybe this will do the trick? Could be seen as head, I suppose. Wasn't it either. Huh. I'm starting to understand the interviewer's frustrations. What are you? This might do it. I mean, there's something like a jar over there. I know you're probably as annoyed with us as we are with you, but really, you're the problem here. Like, we can't pretend that's not the case. Why is that the worst insult I've ever received in my life? Like, somehow it's communicated so clearly. I'm going to start using that from now on. Let's see if this will do it. I'm ready to be done with this. As am I. I'm two and a half hours deep into this recording session. I thought I was going to be tying up more side missions, not literally playing Alan Wake one and a half. Does this thing actually mean head? Head is in a body's head? Where the hell am I gonna find that? I think I, I already did. It. Oh my god, Chekhov's gun! I already did! Okay, we need to find a control point. Oh. Hang on, I don't know I don't know why that shorted my brain out so much. Defeat the hiss enemy. Why are you giving me this as an objective? There it is! I knew it! Oh god! That actually turning out to be important is so unexpected, but it's so cool. Sergeant Hooten. Bang. Oh wow, it's not doing too much to you. Maybe we'll just rely on spin. Yeah, that's a bit faster. More reliable. Yep. And anytime we're not spinning you, we are. Spiraling you. So, why did I call it spiral? Spin. I'm tired. Yep. I love just stun locking what's supposed to be a boss enemy. Goodbye. I got your nose. 
That was so cool. Ooh, a jukebox token. Is that what the prisoner meant? I guess there's only one way to find out. Ahead! River Chicken Station! <laughs> oh, far tastier. Press any button? Sure. So the helmet is what you're after, huh? Tubes! Snug and grape. Pure grapes. Hail a lady. You're welcome, I guess. Did Kirkland lock you up in here? Chief Trouble? Yes. But all out synapiest. Can gather for goldfishes. No wrinkle. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing fine in there now. Just make sure you don't go anywhere. Jelly. At least we helped this guy. I think. Best we leave it locked up, though. We have no idea what it is, and we don't need any more problems out here. I mean, while we're closing up, we might as well do return to sender. Okay, and we did get we did get a collectible to go along with that. I think. Move this letter along before he gets you. Oh no! This spooky man letter has found you. The spooky man curse is coming to you. To miss the curse, you must mail this letter to people. If you don't, the curse will get you. The more letters you mail, the better off you will be. Sally in Houston did not send the letter, and the spooky man ate her cat. Terrence in Greenstone did not send the letter, and the spooky man gave him acne. Kyle did not send the letter, and now his wife eats dinner alone. Linda did send more letters. 30 total so far. And look at her now. She owns three cars, has all her fingers, and speaks Italian. You need to mail this letter. You better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come. He'll take your cat. Go find your stamps. Hurry. Well, I guess we better just in case. Oh man, where do we where do we even look? Operations center. Oh, we're actually four away from a killing a thousand enemies achievement. So that's neat. There you are. Now what counts as low on health? Because we do get a damage bonus once that happens. Uh are you residents or actual... You're a resonance. You count as an enemy, right? Aw, oh, man. If this encounter ends on 999... Oh, did you just leave? Will you just leave if all other enemies are dead? That's a newly observed behavior. Here we go. Okay, photocopier. Can we speed it up? Mail three copies of the chain letter. Uh, how do I do that? Do I use the Numo system? All right, there's chain letter one. I'm literally just using control points to go to all the locations I need to go to. Uh, but one of them, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do right away. It's in well, an as yet undiscovered sector. There's two. Down, two. One to go. Feels like a massive containment breach. And now we're going to have to send one into where we're really going. <sighs> Sorry, Dylan. I know it's taking a while. Hello. Can we climb through here? No. Oh, I found a thing. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, a K. Not an N. Not, not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes me look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could live out my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. Hmm. The voice for the interrogator sounds kind of familiar. 
I believe I have just located the arcade machines. Uh, but I don't have time for that right now. Down we go. Again. Oh, never mind. Up. Oh, God. Bye. Oh my. Okay, let's uh, eliminate what we can. And because you're not Salvador. Up, oh, next one. Next one gets us an achievement. And oh, oh come on. You really. You guys are competing to not be number one thousand. And you're a thousand. Killed thousand hiss. Interdimensional defender. That was pretty cool, I think. I'm not supposed to be using it this way, but I can't help it. Oh god, I feel like I need to get into cover now. If I can get close to you, I can take you. Come on, Cs. Cs Arino. And you, sir. And you do my bidding as a team. Thank you. That's another turntable. Sir, I did not ask for your opinion. There's probably going to be snipers up there, right? Nope, but there are some rockety boys who we haven't actually seen too many of in recent moments. And we want to keep it that way! Oh god, you guys are the worst. Just keep slamming them and using your grenades against you. That's the biggest thing we can do to you. Slam, and slam, and slam, and slam! Oh god, that took a lot out of us immediately! That extra 95% damage right there definitely helped. Then again, I don't know if we even had that extra damage when we killed you. There's so much on the ground, you're not even gonna get to throw your grenade. Anyway, good day, sir. Are you really telling me I could have just left? Well, at least it's bright. That's always an improvement. We've got to get... For clearing these barriers, we have to get that thing for being able to move heavy objects. This is no longer looking bright. Have we been here before? No, I don't believe we have. It would be a real public service if the Hiss could take this guy out. What is this? There's like a whole... There's like a whole thingamajig here. I think dashing through just works better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what's the point of this hidden little area? Wait a second, I just found some darkness on the other side of the room. Maybe the light was the point. Hang on. There we go. And now we find you. This is a far cry from the earlier stages of the game where these things were just everywhere. Let me guess, you're gonna come crawling out of this thing. No. Okay. Better than my prediction. Actually, I think we have the ability to get more abilities. Yes. Uh, seize additional enemy. That's kind of what I want. It's going to be a while before we can get uh, more objects. So let's... No! I hit the wrong button! Come on! All right. I have no idea what's different and what's not. But if we hold on upgrading more... 
We could get this on the next ability point, and that would be super useful because we can hold and launch up to three objects, cool, but energy recovers while holding launch objects. That means it's recovering a lot more often than it was before. Oh wait, there's something over there. Director Faden here. Send back up to my location. I keep forgetting that these things exist. I hope so. Uh, this just became an escort mission. This is gonna be a thing. This is a thing. Yeah, this is a thing. Uh, yep. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I need to. I need to capture you yesterday. Oh, so many grenades being thrown. Yep. Nope. Get away from him. You get away from it too. Okay. It doesn't seem like it hurt you. Die. And. Die and nope, where's that grenade? Yep. We need to oh, we need to kill this thing right now. Uh, where to go? Oh, come on, why am I not doing damage to this thing? It feels like. Uh, die. And die. my guy's probably already dead. Can we? Nope, nope, nope. Go, go back, 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 back. This is proving real difficult when there's a lot of guys and no cover. You're still alive, but not for long. Die, please. Just uh, actually, no. Take you, take you over. Take you over. Take you over. There we go. It'll take some of the heat off. Where's my buddy gone? Smack. And smack. Come on. Take you. Where's my boy? I think that's everything, but my boy is most definitely dead. He was very low and there was a lot happening. Probably just got swarmed by those suicide bombers, honestly. Oh, we've got to climb our way up. What is this, dying light? Uh, what do we do? Oh, I see. We do it. Maybe we can... Yep. Or you know what? Maybe we'd be better off just dashing through you. Dashing... Dashing basically phases us through objects. I keep forgetting. I only recently learned. Brain missing. To the good for nothings of the security check, I know you took a part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether taking a part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else, too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now, I don't know which it is, and I can't remember what you did to me, but I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back, and you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore-Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come find you and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I'll be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. Well, I hope he got what he was looking for. Wait, does this have to do with the plants? I... hmm... Maybe you were... maybe you were speaking figuratively? I don't know. About these things? I've seen some of these in other areas. Oh, here... here's our third Shane letter. What a coincidence. And that's three. That should take care of any bad karma. But how did that first letter get in here? I wonder if I could track it to the source. That's a good point, and one I don't really have time to explore right now. Still as satisfying as Alan Wake. Patty! Oh, a mold. Yeah, I really don't need you guys around. So we got Mold Hiss Taken. That's a thing. Goodbye. Yeah, I'll teach you. Night Springs Screenplay, page two. The robust director shoves the nerd-like scientist aside and heads for the portal control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. 
All the more reason the entire screen is filled with dangerous red. Then it fades away and we see that the two men are in another dimension. The air ripples around them as if they were in a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun after a five-day road trip. Very specific, Alan. What have you done? You've doomed us. Control yourself, Doctor. Where is this beast of yours? Right there, sir. A horrible, shapeless, shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. What a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me. And we know how it ends. Boop. Yep, I remembered this time. And we just need to start putting you into places unless we just pick up, like, a, a monitor or something. Yep. Unless... Do you maybe cause different things to happen? There's another one of these guys. A whole bunch of them, actually. Certainly a dangerous job. Oh, I see. It's a cable-following game. I need to figure out where these things go and power on two of them. Alright, so just what is it that I'm trying to power then? Well, that'll open this gate. By the way, I'm, I want to take a moment to talk about this. I do like it that when you're solving like a fairly complex like logical puzzle, like an engineering puzzle, that it gives you certain things you can do. Uh, like other side objectives that you can accomplish while you're solving the same puzzle. That can be really cool. All right, so you might open that gate. Or not. Oh wait, I get it. We probably need both. The number of cables that are in a wall indicate the places where it needs to go. So both of you will open you. There we are, and that enables a third. Uh, so we need to find one that has three cables going in. Looks like the gates will stay open, too. Four right there. Uh, so all these orange cables, that's where we need to find. Oops, not you. But you. You can go here. And then where's that last one going? And I think you go here. There we are. So that's four. So now we need all the ones that are blue, which was you. And you. And you, sir. And one more will be a... What are we looking for? That's a you, sir. And we get a whole bunch of rewards. Shield kills reload efficiency. These are probably some nice upgrades. I just realized there's a difference in the boxes. Oh wait, I see. You're the yellow ones. Yeller goes yep. And you go... Whoop. Problem is it can be kind of difficult to tell them apart in the dark. Yellow goes here. There we go. So we only needed the two. The rest was all extra. Reminder. The law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. Marvin Harry in shambles. Let's just get that right off of there. Here, hold this light for me. It's dangerous in the dark. It's getting to the point where that doesn't even kill you anymore. Aren't you guys glad you decided to try and stop me? Yep. We are claiming so many points in this episode. Okay, 
Let's get the lights on and clear him out. Yeah, I can tell he's right over there. He's running out of places to hide. That's the good news. Oh no. Oh no, I've gotta I've gotta go to where the light is. Come on now. Yep. Uh, ground slam would have been really useful right about here. Can you please give us stuff. Oh geez, that was not good for us. Yep, there's the train, the one that was taken. Oh, uh, where are we going? Really wish I knew where I was going. Through to here, through to here, through to here. Don't lose health at this part. Is the lesson we learned. Keep you stunned. Problem was trying to stay at your level. Okay, that will turn on. We've got to move it all the way to the end to activate the lights. So we just follow you down. Is that what we do? I'm not sure. We got these breaks in the middle. I just don't know. There it is. Okay, we've got to go to there. I didn't see that way before. I wasn't looking there. Yep. And yep. Before the other guy gets up, we need to do that. Taking you doesn't really help us all that much right now. Right, so let's search diagonally. But what happens when you do reach the end? There's... Oh, I see. The darkness is all over the control panels. Up to there. Yeah, boop. Oh, it is blinding. Within your low level. Please don't expect me to actually board this thing. I'm nervous. I'm real nervous. Wow, was that really it? Huh, maybe we were meant to do this one first. But even now you can escape. You have the ability to move... You have the ability to move through these distortions. These shifts. Okay, we're going after you. Wait. We can investigate the item itself. Oh, we have to. We just have to. I'm just so curious about these things, and besides, trains are cool. All aboard. We're not supposed to, but we're the director. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited, bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Hearing echoes of memories aboard this train. It's last moments, maybe. I get it. I think I have to place them in sequence, right? Good afternoon, ladies One. and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited Two. Please have your tickets ready and three. Four. Five and six. That seemed right. And indeed it was. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a ticket? 
Does something still linger? You had a pretty dark ride, huh? But I hope you're done replaying it now. Well, I find it a bit hard to believe that the FBC wouldn't be able to figure that one out, but... I mean, I'm glad we did. I'm... I'm so happy that every single entity and occurrence in the game is treated as its own story and not just another piece in the exhibit. And also, I love this character and her attitude and her voice. I mean, I like how she's so, like, stoic and strong, but it clearly comes across, like, how much she cares and how much, like, she actually wants to help people. I just think it's really well done while not being overstated at every turn, you know? Ow! Nope, 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 I fell down. You guys just make things harder everywhere we go. Shaded specimen captured. Uh, entity capture report. An alert from Washington Monitoring Station indicated minor activity occurring in the area. Agent Estevez was dispatched to investigate. Inside the lodge, she discovered the facility's former owner, Emil Hartman. He had been converted into a shaded individual and displayed violent behavior characteristic of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence and, with some difficulty, it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitant were transported safely back to HQ. Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to relocate the specimen to their sector for study. I don't know if that's going to happen. It's kind of dark down here. More shifts, why not? Remember when I reacted with surprise earlier in the series that I could clamor over objects? I had no idea how much moving would actually be a part of the game. Oops. Oh, there is a document there. Motel complaint. Hey, Stu, did you hear about Fisher? Got himself in trouble in the motel. Why does anyone volunteer to stake out that place? Gives me the creeps. But hey, at least he came back, if you can call it that. I saw some of the footage they pulled out of there with him. Tom down in evidence processing showed me. Crazy stuff. Fisher had the cameras pointed at himself half the time. I'm guessing he went nuts on day one. He did catch something, though. Got one of those fiber optic cameras under the door of the room he was hiding in and recorded something out in the hall. Looked like a shadow. Maybe human. Tom tried to get the quality up, but it's still really blurry. Just reaffirms my position. Stay out of the motel. Anyway, up for some shoom later? Lisa got up to an hour and 38 minutes yesterday. New record to beat. See ya, Dave. That just makes it even creepier that if you hang around there for a long enough time, something will come for you. This game knows just what to tell us and just what to withhold. Thank you, Polaris. I really hope you don't turn out to be evil. Train car procedures. I, I never notice when we get these things. The item's altered effect can be avoided by simply not entering. Proper signage and barriers should provide sufficient containment. Well, that sign couldn't stop me because I couldn't read. The item is currently held in the investigation sector. The item's exterior is that of a standard CZ-10 Vista Dome train car, the largest known altered item on record. Its interior seems to be an adjacent reality related to a trauma or memory belonging to a something, and not the physical item's own history. Causation for this link is still to be determined, but possibilities include the outside interference possibly responsible for the item's altered state, or trauma imprinting via shared memory states. The item was discovered when the Bureau responded to a suspected crime scene in Bloomington, Illinois. The item was identified as an altered item and transported to the Bureau for examination and testing. Oh my. So it wasn't even this one. That's so... that's so interesting and further goes into what I was saying about how the, these stories aren't cookie cutter. Yep, there you are. Your last refuge, if the map is anything to go by. 
But how are we gonna go about dealing with this? Okay, his present. Sure do, but how? Alright, well we need to make our way from point to point, as always. Yep, down to here. Don't have time for other targets. Uh, these things are everywhere, but not destructible. Let's make our way across the room. This might actually be the most dangerous enemy in the game so far. Well, besides Salvador, but that's more about circumstance. You don't work yet. Oh, we've got to collect four of these things and bring them back here to the light. Alright, well, first we've got to find where any of them are located. I wonder if you would... Hmm. If I can, I've got to try taking you. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if you'd shoot at a meal. Yeah, oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, I forgot I was in the darkness. Alright. I am very lucky to have come out of that without any damage. How do we get you down some more? Boom. Yeah, I'm stuck. There you go, there's something. But where's... Okay, there's more. Bang. Okay, and you'll open up. Alright, that's how we do this. I thought we were trying to get this thing to fall, but nope, this makes more sense. Oh, but removing you will remove the light in your area, so it may be prudent to strategically place you back. Oh, I need a lot more than one. So what about this one over here? Oh my god, holy Christ, stop doing that. Look at the way you just sort of shuffle back into the shadows. Oh god. You're like a Bloodborne boss or something. Okay. Okay. Let's... We can do this. We can do this. And it makes the most sense, I think, to start with the farthest points. We've already taken one of the closer ones. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to do this a little bit more smartly in the future. Now, where are the rest of your things? Come on now. Maybe they'll only show up in a certain order. Because I don't see any on that one over there, either. Okay, let's make the most of this, then. Maybe we can't be smart. You're down. You're down. Uh, these things do give damage when they break, so you're down. And there's one more up here. You're down. Is there still more? All right, up here. Here we go. For you... And away, and away, and away. Goodbye. Yeah, boop. We still need more. We knew that. So who's glowing now? This is going to be... That other one, that last one, is going to be the real challenge. So we're going to need to grab some health. We also, because this probably was like mainly developed as a console game, I'm imagining, uh, it's technically in a really good state, but I can't look all the way up. Get a little bit higher. There we go. Take you. And you. You. Dip, 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 dip. There we are. One more, just one more. Oh, this is not going to be easy. Yep! Question, if we levitate, can we fly through this? We can, but we've really got to move. And we got to make sure that our bar is full. Let's just, this is probably our last chance to do science. Will you shoot at Emil? It doesn't seem so. Wherever he is, I know you can see him. We need full energy, nothing less. Oh, it's going to be quite, quite a run back, isn't it? What's the last thing? Hearing gunfire all over. Maybe you are shooting at him, or... Uh, who knows, maybe... Maybe you're fighting each other. Uh... But I don't know why Emil's not attacking them right now. They were before. No, go through, go through, go through! Go! I can't go through! I can't face through! I can't face through! No, go, 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 go. I can't... Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. That is so annoying. 
Yeah, there's literally, there was nothing I could do about that. Alright, here's the last one again. Come on, go, go, go. You're all right here, which is inconvenient. One hit removes all my health, but health ain't the concern right now. Our best bet, I think, is going to be to fly up and just... Uh, would running maybe be better? I mean, dashing doesn't add all that much speed, but at least keeps us away from you. It keeps us dodging while we're in the dark. All right, there's the exit over there. Go. 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 Go! We might just make it! Oh my god. Please tell me this works. And you're not even dead yet. Oh, please don't spawn more enemies right now. Alright, it looks like we get a certain amount of health back. Yep. Well, it's slightly dark down here, I suppose. Well, we've opened up this. Just give me the boss fight. Director, ma'am, great timing. Hartman just came through here. God, he was hideous. He tore the security door into the Bright Falls AWE site wide open. He was so ugly. Like, wow, I got a good look at him. And Christ, he does not look like he used to. The hiss must have messed him up or something. He, he, he looks like a, a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man. Or a monster from some 80s horror movie. You know, back when it was all practical effects? Ugh, nasty. Goodbye. Remember, I can't hear you. I've written. Never mind, written. just go The darkness the wants to hide the past and make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality. Tear it apart and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. So am I. Did I hear footsteps outside? Let's go take care of it. Okay, let's use this light to do some elevator maintenance. There we are. And uh, I don't like stepping into the dark to even do this. There we are. And there you are. Hold that for me. Nope. Oh, you do you just like throw that thing back at me? No, you don't. Come on. You and you. Oh, you guys are getting way tougher. I feel like enemies are tanking a lot more of my attacks in this part than they were before. And smack. All we need. Let's get this thing moving again. You would think clearing the jam would just cause it to move without us, but whatevs. be the final confrontation, right? Maximum security, live subject. Thank you for meeting with us again, Dr. Arman. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I've provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I consider myself a keen observer. Of well, we did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you in fact encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. 
Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they say. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offense System. What? You can't do this. I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. I like it when bad things happen to bad people. Another trip to the ocean view, in effect. I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. I've forgotten. As far as I know, these are the only moments another door is opened. Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. The sad thing is, we know he's not going to get it for another several years. Why does it seem like an even bigger breach than our own reality to see this stuff in the ocean view? This is a place of rituals? Well, right now it wants us to cleanse it, right? Flashing lights warning, folks. I've been in some awful motel rooms in my time, but this has got to take the cake, right? There we go. Huh. And it's like our gang tag. Maybe we just leave it like that. Thank you. Pleasure to be of service. There's some serious implications being raised here, but I'm going to save that until all is said and done. The story needed many beginnings, many springs, streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. 
The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her, went berserk, broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real, the more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head. Going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His. Escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. We created a Dada's poem. I try anything once. Or had he tried this before? Cause and effect. And it's actually starting to become kind of a major theme, isn't it? Let's get us through. Ordinary. It is so dark in here. here. Alice Wake interview. After reaching out to the Bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview in 2017. The interview conducted by agents Shaw and Dempsey revealed that Mrs. Wake has had recurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her New York apartment. Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Mrs. Wake believes that he is haunting her, insisting he is not Alan, but a monster in his body. Mrs. Wake has not been sleeping out of fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on through the night result in the relevant hallway's light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating something's involvement. Further investigation required. We propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of supply request form L5014 have been sent to Mr. Kirkland and administration for approval. Uh, if this ain't a whole thing and a half. Um, all right, where should we go? Over here? Uh, I can request a dude. Don't know if I want that. Uh, what is that doing? I can see you down there. I just, I just need to go. Nope. Yeah, Hartman was real stretched. Okay, we're not, t we're not touching that until after. Uh, where can we send you? Over to there, I bet. And what else? That'll open more lights for us. We need to make our own path. And not just in the way your high school teachers tell you. There you go, enjoy that. Oh, you don't seem to mind all that much, actually. So that's an issue. So much reading. Let's get you over here. Anything else? Any other places we can send these? I think that's multiple things going, but eh, you don't want to leave. You know, it is really interesting that we're actually having to light up Bright Falls in order to make this thing go away. It's almost like we're closing up our players' unresolved trauma from the first game, and we can't go back up into that room. Oh, there's a button right here, okay. Uh, press... and boop. And now's where you become a regular boss. Let's do this from as far away as possible, okay? Oh, can you? Whoa, that's you're shooting flesh missiles at me. And that's not a euphemism. Uh, boop. And yeah, boom, what is that? Oh my god, you have you also have an unavoidable attack that does massive damage. Well, I'm dead. 
Oh my god, and you can do stuff like that. In what way is this even remotely fair? So what is, what would be considered acceptable cover? And how effective is throwing stuff? Throwing stuff is actually real good. That might be better than trying to, than trying to use the pierce on you. Oop. Pierce might just be better for armored enemies in general. As long as we keep something between you and us, we can maybe just ring around the rosy. Might be our best bet. There we go. So then maybe... We can hit you for big damage. I hate it when you do that. Otherwise... What are your tells? That's the main thing. You are actually dodging my attacks like a pro. Sometimes you dodge right into them, though, and that helps me immensely. All right, we can do this. We just got to use this thing in the center. There we go. Get headshot, noob. I've been waiting years for this. There's a point where you're there, but not really. Yep. And yep. And yep. Oh, move, move, move. Let's find out how Spin is against you. Spin, actually not bad. Spin, actually not bad. Nope. Okay, that damaged me even though I was behind cover, so that's, that's cool. Spin is extremely effective against you. Okay, wish I'd known that a second ago. You'd be dead by now. Nope. Just the person I wanted to see. Sure. Well, oh no, you're a phased boss fight. Oh my god. Okay, this just got a lot worse. You left us completely in darkness. There's flunkies. There's. Oh, this is the worst. Tell me, if we die now, where does it leave us off? Well, at least we got some health in here. And I was ready for this to be done. Okay, so you'll. You'll break a random two. Come on, no. Pick up the right thing, please. And we don't have to hit the button again, so that's nice. You have a second health bar. Does it count as a shield, technically? Now. I think we just keep throwing. Oh, great. You're going to have... Yep. Okay, so that's cool. That's awesome. We have nothing. We have nothing, and we're in the dark. Here's the first time I actually feel the need to use the shield. But it kind of prevents me from doing anything else that I would need to do. Oh my god. And you're healing. You can heal. That's insane. And you're right over here. Where's the thing? Give me the thing. Give me the thing! Give me the thing! Well, I guess I can't now. You're gonna kill me. Please go in. Thank you. Not that it matters much. Okay, down here we need to collect a bunch of health. Not that it's going to matter if you do your attack. There's your... Oh, come on. Just keep hitting you. Bang and bang and... Nope. You're going to do your thing. I, I literally have no reference for what will actually count as cover against that attack. Come on now. Will you please allow us to actually finish your health bar this time? Or do we have to do it within, like, a time limit? Nope! Nope! Finish him. Finish him. Finish him! Oh my god. Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. Except in my nightmares. Investigations need someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. 
Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong, a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown. There shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent yep. in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. had to get a Twin Peaks in there somewhere, but that is so cool. Such, look, such a big part of Alan Wake 2 was, like, causality and, like, distorted timelines. Cause and effect, but not always in that order. Uh, but it is just so cool to see how that finally came full circle. I mean, look, I know I'm playing these things out of order, but hey, that to me seems like a green light to say it doesn't matter. Come on, move, move. There is no cover here against flying enemies. We need to kill that resonance. Die. And we get an achievement for defeating Hartman. Alright, that's effectively this DLC done, I think. Yep. Alright, seize you so we can do what we need. Kill you. Nope, we need to get up there. Go, go, go. Come on, destroy, destroy, destroy. I hope so. There's gonna be a lot of documents to read. Alright, your shield is down. No, come on. Oh my god. And you're down, and it's just instantly spawning more. I have stuff to read, game. A lot of stuff. Look at all of this. Uh, thank you. Let's finish you and be done with it. Come on now. Just one more hit, please. There we go. Are we finished now? So this is the lodge. <laughs> I remember seeing that site all completely covered in those shadows. Although this is a somewhat shallow recreation, I wonder what it was exactly they were trying to recreate. Well, let's find out then. Bright Falls 1976 summary. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake. The citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southwestern fields for the annual festival known as Deerfest. Eyewitnesses all claimed that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of the area's weather reports. But then, with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of the Anderson farm, and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. It was as if the day had turned to night. Frank Breaker, the sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a bureau agent, managed to guide the crowd to safety as the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood. The festival was cancelled, ending one day early. Thanks to those in the know, it wasn't nearly as bad as it could have been. Both Frank Breaker and the Anderson brothers. Lack of official bureau presence on the scene makes this event difficult to report as a confirmed AWE, though the similarity to other events in Bright Falls area lend credence to the accounts of the townspeople. Wake photograph taken by Alice Wake. That is, oh my god. That image was so prevalent throughout Alan Wake 2. Imagine this guy goes missing under mysterious circumstances, wife claims to be haunted, and that's the only image after years that's able to be produced. Clearly showing something's going on, but telling us nothing else. Alright, Wake evidence. 
Alice Wake, former wife of Alan Wake, has recently been visited at night by her ex-husband, or entity resembling him. Being a professional photographer, she positioned cameras with motion sensors around the corridors he'd appeared in, and managed to capture an image of Mr. Wake on film. During an interview with Mrs. Wake, she mentioned that her favorite camera was lost in 2010 during AWE 35. No match has been found among the confiscated evidence, and it's been filed as a potential altered item, and research staff stationed at Bright Falls are being contacted to check if they have any knowledge of such an item. Man, you say it looks like Dylan's cell. That is so much smaller. Oh my god, they put him in a zoo. Uh, this really is the happy ending to Alan Wake that we needed. Bright Falls 76 Supplement On the day of the flooding, the rock band Old Gods of Asgard was rehearsing in a field outside the Anderson farm, the home set of band members Odin and Tor Anderson. Both admitted to being in a heavy state of inebriation at the time, having spent days drinking their home-brewed moonshine while celebrating Deerfest. After the townspeople were evacuated from the flooded field, Sheriff Breaker was asked by Freya Anderson, daughter of Tor Anderson, they set it up this far back! to check on her father and uncle. Breaker drove to the Anderson farm and found the band members alive, but in need of medical aid. Tor Anderson had been struck by lightning, and Anderson and Odin had cut out his own right eye. A possible reference to Norse deities? They claimed they had fought and valiantly defeated a dark army of the Scratching Hag, rising from Cauldron Lake. See the 1970 AWE. While impossible to verify, these events are relevant to the recurring AWE at Bright Falls in Cauldron Lake. Odin and Tor Anderson have been listed as persons of interest. Oh, they're interesting. They sure sure are. Let's listen to this, finally. These are the notes of Dr. Emil Hartman. I am continuing my work alone again since certain parties were too blind to recognize a golden opportunity. Despite my generous offers, the conversations came to naught. Some people simply do not value collaboration as I do. Though I believe now that it was for the best. The sort of bold pioneering work that I am undertaking cannot thrive under the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation. I have a history of seeking such partnerships. There was a time when I had hoped Alan Wake and I could collaborate. Together, we could have produced art such that the world has never seen. But Wake was stubborn, egotistical. Writers usually are. Disappointing, nonetheless. But now, like Tom before him, Wake has disappeared into Cauldron Lake. And this is where my work turns. Hypothetical. Since he was lost to the lake, Thomas Zane has been observed by various townspeople. This indicates to me that the individuals within the lake are not entirely gone. I anticipate Wake will similarly return one day. While I may harbor some resentment for the man, his raw talent and determination are undeniable. From this, I have concluded that the lake and the dark place within it are not as removed from this world as I previously thought. Given my acute awareness of what awaits within, my meticulous preparations, and my considerable education, I believe myself much more prepared than either Tom or Wake. I should be able to cross into that dark realm with the chance to return as they have. All that remains is the dive itself. It frightens me, I admit, but such is the burden of the truth seeker. I will take my plunge into the dark tomorrow with only the light of knowledge to guide me. It is time for a breakthrough. Until I return. You were given multiple golden outs from this world ending entity, and in the end, you crawled right down its throat. You know, I spent Alan Wake 2 waiting for the moment when Hartman would come after me as a boss fight, you know, after what happened with Nightingale. Now I see why he never did. Jesse Faden at the Federal Bureau of Control had our back. Ah, here we are, and now 
we can get this. Being able to regenerate while holding would have helped us a lot in some of the previous encounters, and I'm so happy to finally have these abilities. Guess I should just follow the tube. Follow the tube, eh? There's the post box. So you're the one sending out spam mail. Huh, I should have known you were related. I love reading about these things earlier and finding out about them later. Alright. So cool to see this whole place with all its lights on now. It really feels like we've reclaimed something, you know? Set something right. I don't know if we'll ever have the clocks area back again. Maybe we could make a mint selling them. But I am really curious about Shum. Hmm, two different games? Uh, survive against a horde of hiss. Oh, it's like a survival arcade mode. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, die and die and die. Oh, this is so much fun. Yep. Maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll increase in number and difficulty as we go. Yep. An hour and thirty-eight minutes. We ain't beating that. So I wonder if this is actually something that can be completed in the traditional sense. Oh, strike! Oh, uh, well, it seems like there is actually a progress bar. Come on, no. Less health, less health, less health. Come on. Come on, just- oh, be close enough. Thank you. Ow! Oh my god, this is- ah, there's just so much spam. Oh, it's all rockets. It's all rockets. It's all rockets. This is literally my nightmare. I do see the right click thing for picking up multiple objects, but that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough thing to get used to being able to do. You are not my possessed boy. Which means you're no friend of mine. Where'd you go? Come on, yep. Getting on your level does not actually make things all that much easier when it comes to you guys. Come on. Let's be friends. Alright, this is taking far too long, and I have been recording for far too long. Both this part and the last part were recorded in this session, and I am exhausted. But watching the superhero fight is pretty cool, and like picking favorites. This one's trapped in a corner. Yeah, this one's taking a while, but it's starting to look like maybe we can do it. Yep. I don't know what we get for it. Oh god, there's another one. Why are you why are you leaning down like that? What I'm realizing is that all the things. The upgrades that I thought were super OP, they very quickly become, like, necessary. Come on now. Getting stuck on everything. Nope. Die. 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 Can we make some new friends, please? Oh no, I actually don't want you falling. Yep. Because you'll do stuff like that. Can you maybe fire some of those rockets at the other enemies? That would be really useful to me, or at least locate them for me. Oh, you're getting into a fight. Tell you what, you can both be my friend. Oh, never mind. He's jealous. Yeah, the good thing about this map is that there is a lot of room to move and shoot, and the enemies are, like, they're just leaving health all over the place, which is tremendously useful. Somebody's still sneaking around, though. I'm definitely not doing the other one right now. This is real time-consuming. Come on, us versus the world, buddy. Boom. Oh, I love my hiss buddies. They're the best. And losing them is guilt-free, unlike the Bureau guys, with, with their humanity and all. There we go. Hmm. 
You know, there is actually an upgrade to possess guys like this, and I think, uh, I think that would do wonders in a situation like this. Okay, you need to actually be ours. Thank you. We're actually extremely close. We just need to, uh, lots of low-level dudes as well. I think it's doable. It's, uh... So the problem is that the kill zone in the middle is a kill zone, so that's where all the health is. Which, uh, doesn't super tremendously help me. Alright, all right, everybody just dogpile on this dude. There we go, we did it! Ah, uh, well, that was fun. <laughs> Took forever, and I'm gonna be cutting most of it, but it was fun. Good job, Jesse. You showed your gaming skills while, I don't know, a horrible crisis was happening. No, right? Arcade cabinet supplement. Both items were purchased from a closing arcade somewhere in Michigan, and it's part of a program to improve employee well-being through recreation. The program was cancelled before any game machines were dispersed throughout the oldest house, but not before these altered items were discovered. Teams in the research sector have voiced considerable interest in the items due to the fact that they only exhibit an altered effect when physically paired together a codependent relationship previously unseen in altered items. See Research Specialist Pope's paper titled Parasensitivity of Sequels for more information. However, after proving the item's altered status, the investigation staff insisted on keeping them, claiming that they're important for sector morale. To date, numerous petitions have been filed by research sector personnel to move the items there for more extensive analysis. That's hilarious. There's a haunted arcade cabinet set that they all fight over. And it is incredible. The amount of not only content, but actual legitimate story this Alan Wake DLC has added. And it's not even all related to Alan Wake. They've also taken the opportunity to explore different ideas and even gameplay with regards to paranatural items and events. There's just so much love and care put into everything about this game, and that's what makes it so amazing. There's something here for everyone, people who are looking for nostalgia, people who are looking for answers, and people who just wanted more of the same. There's some actual horror that I'm sure a lot of people felt that the base game would have been lacking. I mean, that ending where they talked about the machines detecting incidents from the future, that was effectively an announcement. And if you like this video, Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.